Look, henceforth, I will not talk about any village again. I promise. And also, I will not talk about any missionary or evangelical work in this house again. Please forgive me. I know the word of God says that we should go into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, if I cannot go, I think I can send my money. Isn't it? Was that not what I was trying to say to him? Don't be annoyed. Eh? <laughs> Who is that? Is it again? Excuse me, sir. I am very sorry for coming back. Okay. I forgot to deliver an important message the other time. So I said I should quickly come back now to deliver it because I will be traveling to Poracot tomorrow morning, very early tomorrow morning. Is it on that matter? Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit said that if you refuse to go and do the work He has marked down for you. He said, he, the Lord, will raise up someone else to do the job, and you will... Look here, mister. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. And if you stay here any longer, I will phone the police to come and lock you up. Out! Why do you always go about delivering a message God does not send you? Huh? Do you want to cause confusion in our house? Has God sent you to come and cause confusion here? Please go out! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out! I, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't be sorry for yourself. Sorry, my dear. Let's go inside. Hmm. Uh -uh. Did you begin to think about this? Mm, well, he has never told me about it before. But it was um, a month after our wedding. Then he started saying, it seems the Lord was drawing his attention to go into a village and be preaching there. That it seems the Lord wants to use him in a village. Mm -hmm. Raboy, I mean, how did you know? I mean, how did you know that um, the Lord is, uh, is really calling you and that he wants to use you for his work in the village? Pastor, the whole things just started suddenly. The idea, the vision and the desire just stormed my heart. And since the vision had gripped my heart so much, I lost interest in any other secular or church works. I knew it must have been that the Lord wants me to go and do the work of evangelism in the village. But I really don't know how to go about it. And that was why I asked my wife to follow me to come and see you. Sister Mary, what do you think about what your husband has been saying since? Mm -hmm. Aren't you surprised? Well, there's nothing I can I can think about it. If really the Lord is calling him to the ministry to work for him, I can't I can't understand, but um, I can't do anything about it. You don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? Well, we did not plan it before we got married that we shall be going into village evangelism. I mean, in full time. Perhaps we will have made some preparation. But as long as the call is from God, and it's only God that will understand. Are you going to the village together or is Brother Boye going to go first and then you come later? 
uh, both of us we will eventually go, but I have to go first ahead to go and make uh, some arrangements. No, I think we should both go together and see how the place looks like. Then we we'll come back again and start the preparation. I think that is better. Well, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. Um, have you known the name of the village you are going into? No, Pastor. Uh, we have not yet known the village. But we believe we shall soon know it. And once we know it, we shall come back to inform you. Brother well, Boy, how about your employment? I mean, what plans are you making concerning your present uh, job? Well, uh, Pastor, uh, it is simple. I will have to tender my letter of resignation to the company. Uh, the work which the Lord has just laid in my heart uh, is more real and pleasing than the one I'm doing now. I will have to leave the job, Pastor. Well, when you know the name of the village, please uh, let me know. Well, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And the Lord will strengthen you yes, for this sir. great assignment that is before you. Yes, thank you, sir. I wish you all uh, the best. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. Oh, <laughs> 
how beautiful or ugly you will be when you are bad. And what are you still doing in our room? Don't you want to come out yet? Oh, yes, I want to have come out. But I feel I should not cause them a little panic. Yeah. The doctor has said that if I delay to come out any longer, that they will take me out by a surgical operation. What? Surgical operation? That means they want to force you out of the womb. Never. A thousand of them can never do that. <laughs> they can never force me out or out of that womb. Yeah. Um, is this my first time into the world of this? No. This is my second time of coming into this world. A doctor once tried this in Kapasha during my last trip into the world. He wanted to force me out of my mother's womb. After a long hours of labor. Do you know what I did to that doctor? Yeah. Whoa! I taught him a lesson. Yeah. I dipped my fingers into his eyes. <laughs> That's right. I took his right eye yeah. and left the left one. Yeah. The man is partially blind. Ah! So he uses glasses now. Yeah. No doctor can ever force me out of any woman. Mm -hmm. Unless I volunteer to choose to come out and you are my own account. Whatever we do to them is not our fault. Yes. Yes. If they were the one that came to us to beg for a child, yes. no. yes. we don't have problems. Yes. We don't have problems. It's their own one, it's their problem. Yes. Is that what the doctor for me? Oh yes, he is yes. the one. Yes. Oh. Don't leave him alone to run him about. Do you know what he's looking for? What is he looking for? <laughs> he's looking for his office key. Eh? <laughs> oh, you took it. Oh, he's been looking for that thing for the past 20 minutes now. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I took the key. Eh? I took the key and I kept it away from him. Ah! ah. 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 Where did you put the key? I just have to put that, you know, so that I can have time with you. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Do you yeah. know where I put the key? Where did you oh. keep it? I sealed the key into the side part of a female nose. Ah! Yeah. And the mother has gone to the bank now. Do you know what he wants to use the key for? <laughs> no. He wanted to open his office to take some important surgical instruments to perform surgical, surgical operation to my mother to carry <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes ago, they have not started. 
because the doctor misplaces the key to, to his room and he's still looking for the key. Uh, the key, that's the key that he will use to open his room to take some important uh, materials there. In fact, I, I don't seem to understand what's really going on. Okay, sir. Don't worry. Eh? Jesus Christ is able, to, is able to handle any situation. You see, we are here to greet one of our friends. And that's why we are, we are in this world. But I believe we are here for this purpose as well. Uh, yeah? Yes. Please come. Let's pray with this man. His wife has been in the labor room for some time now. Mm -hmm. he she ought to have been delivered. But you know the, the baby is not yet out. Right. So I think we should pray with uh, with him. Uh, it's all right. Uh, but can we move to this side? Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. So you shouldn't be afraid, sir. The Lord will handle the situation. Can we pray together now? Sure. Okay, let's join hands together. All right. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Together, Lord, we stand against all those contrary spirits mm. that are hindering this most delivery of Mrs. Ojoa. Yes. We hereby command all you spirits to go into bondage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Advancing baby girl. <laughs> what you saw Jesus Christ did in that hospital yesterday is a proof that there is nothing our Lord Jesus Christ cannot do. What the doctor at tried to do it with was what our Lord did within some minutes when we called on his name. And that is why we advise you to give Jesus a chance to bring you life. He who did that miracle in that hospital is capable of settling your problem and giving you a new life. And where is your baby? She's in the room sleeping. You were telling us some things in the hospital. About as you got your, the conception of the baby. Engineer, you said you went to a witch doctor in a remote village. Uh, can you tell us something about it? <coughs> um, actually, we, we got to know about the witch doctor through one of the friends of my wife. Uh, she described the village to us and we went. Uh, our five years marriage without an issue was the reason behind our going to the village. Uh, the old man prepared a ritual, uh, he went into the forest, then he came back with a covered calabash which he gave to my wife. Inside the covered calabash we are six eggs, with an instruction that you should mix all the eggs together and drink them raw. Immediately we got to, she did just like that. And that very month, <laughs> she got pregnant. Mm. <laughs> Engineer, we thank God that you have now got 
a baby. But you need to be praying constantly for that child. The baby needs your fervent prayer both day and night. And the wish uh, doctor even said we should come to the village for a certain ritual immediately the baby is born. So we are going to the village with the child, with the child tomorrow. We are in the village. And what is the name of that village? Uh, it's a big farm. Yes. Uh, the village is called Mumoleru. The old witch doctor said we should come and show our gratitude to the spirit of the gods yes. who have made this thing possible. Yes. And we will have to go with the baby. Yes. Hmm. Engineer, if you take the child back to that witch doctor, then that's all. It means you have sold yourself over to the forces of darkness. Please, engineer, I hope you will not mind if I say this observation of mine. Ah, no, not at all. I even love to hear everything that you have to tell us. I know you are people of God. Um, you see, when we were when we were in the hospital, when we saw you in the hospital and your wife is in the living room, I saw three horrible girls in the spirit. They were talking. So as the prayer was going on, two of them fell down heavily, and they were bound by a strong rope. That was all I saw. Then I came to understand that the circumstances surrounding the conception and delivery of your baby calls for strong and continuous prayer. Ha! Excuse me. I hope nothing even will happen to my baby. No, 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 not at all. But the way you got those strange eggs from the village witch doctor, the staring and the drinking of the eggs, and your conception in that very same month, coupled with what my wife saw when we were praying for the delivery, all this shows that you are in for a serious spiritual warfare. Eh? Uh, what are we going to do now? That is a very good question. That is why you need to invite Jesus into your life as your Savior. Then you can be sure of being able to face any serious spiritual battle that may want to rise against you. Yes. Yes. Before you can be able to call Jesus Christ into this coming battle, let him enter into your lives and become your Lord, your Savior and your Master. Uh, uh, well, what else? Uh, we are ready to accept him as our Lord yes. and call him into our lives. Okay. Then, you can bow your head and say this prayer after me. My Lord and my God. My, my Lord, Lord and my God. God. I thank you for opening my eyes. I thank you for opening my eyes. I've heard your word of salvation. I have heard, heard your word, word of salvation. salvation. And I understand and believe it wholeheartedly. And, and I, I understand, understand and believe it wholeheartedly. That I cannot save myself. That, that I, I cannot, cannot save, save myself. myself. Unless you save me through your son Jesus Christ. Unless, unless you save, save me through your son Jesus, Jesus Christ. I come to you today. I, I come to you today. Through your son Jesus Christ. Through your, your son, son Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. And wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. And let your Holy Spirit come into my life. And let your Holy Spirit come into my life. I give my heart to you, Jesus Christ. I, I give, give my, my life, life to Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you for saving me. Thank, Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. In, In Jesus' name I pray. I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the L
Shouldn't we go again? You will go. But you will not go with the baby. In fact, we are going together with you to the village tomorrow. And we wish to know the village and the witch doctor. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, that's better. Okay. I mean, it's good that way. Okay, it's that's better. better. <laughs> oh, it's alright. It's alright. We will be expecting you. We don't come with the baby, Baba. You don't come with the baby. What do you mean by that? Why? Engineer, why? Baba, you see? The road is dusty. And it's even far. Even God is not advisable to travel on this road with a newborn baby. You can't just bring her. Hmm? You don't bring the baby. What are you saying? What are you saying? Did you make that covenant with me? Engineer, no one does it the way you have chosen to do it. You have to bring that child so that you can perform the next ritual and put a feet on Opawo, the sacred bowl of divination, so that the baby can fare well in life. No one does it the way you have done it, engineer. You have to bring the baby here. The work is not yet complete. And when are you bringing the baby? When are you going to bring her? Baba, we cannot bring the baby here. Yes. Uh, the road is not good enough. It is too dusty for the baby. It's not possible. You can't bring her. It's not possible. No one does it the way you have chosen to do it, my friends. Hey, Wani. It is abomination. You've got to bring the child here. Perhaps you don't even know the nature of the baby you have born. What type of child have they got, Baba? You shut up your mouth. You are not called into this matter. Do you know the covenant we signed together upon the child? Engineer, my friend, you and your wife, come inside and let's talk. Come inside. Baba, it is not necessary. We are about to go. Yes. Not necessary? Ah, my friend. No one does it the way you want to do it. You need to bring the child for the next ritual so that the spirit of the gods can have favor on the child and make her live alive in peace. <laughs> Whoever borrows a thousand cowries and refuses to pay back destroys this opportunity of making another borrowing at another time. Engineer, you've got to bring the baby here for the next ritual. When are you going to bring the baby? Baba? <laughs> no. No. We are not, we don't even have any mind of coming here to borrow any longer. Yes. In fact, someone greater than you has said to that case. Yes. Let's go. Ah, Kasha. You don't let 
is a lot. You know about and then we go. You have told a great lie. You know about you have told a great lie. You cannot go for three years. Hey, hey, we go. You know about engineer. Go on, man. That you know about the power. You know you know about hey, hey, hey. You will see and you will pay for. Arani Mosan, Arani Mosan, Arani Mosan, a genimero, a genimero, a genimero, or Lanimo, but get on you, a porojadi. When the snake is caught at the tail, it vomit, it vomit is bed numb. Oh no, yes. You shut up your mouth. Look, it's shower. If you know you are no more competent in your work, never you come to us again to beg us for a child. Ah, see how you have put Omaja in, in great trap. And let me tell you, we shall surely resist that. Olori Egbe, don't be annoyed with me. This is no time to be annoyed with me, but to show me the way out of the problem. You tell me what to do. See how engineer has paid me back, evil for good. I had mercy on him. I find him a child, but see how he has paid my kindness with ingratitude. Perhaps he doesn't know the type of person I am. He doesn't really know me. Perhaps because I don't put on charms all over my body. He doesn't know that everything about my body, including the saliva of my mouth and the blood that runs in my vein are full of charms. He doesn't really know me at all. Look. I sent Morokomi and Awakisa to the hospital to, just to see how she will look like when she is born. Ha -ha, they came back to me wounded, terribly wounded. And they came back in terrible agony. Ha -ha. Why? Ha -ha. They said when they got to the hospital and we are talking together with Omaja that engineer, uh, a young woman and a man were talking together when suddenly a strange power knocked them down and bound them with a strong rope. What type of strange power was that? Uh -uh. They said Ifu Nomaja was forcefully pushed back into the woman's home and she delivered her immediately. Kasa, maybe Omaja was not even ready to come out of the woman's womb. She said she was not ready to come. Even the discussion she was having with Murunkomi and Ewakisa was disrupted. Uh -uh. Oh, in shower room, no one had ever treated us with such contempt. Hmm. Perhaps. That was the reason why engineer was boasting at me. He must have trusted in that strange power. Olori Egbe, what now must we do? Teach me what to do. We must do something. I will send some of our members to Maja tonight. They will go and find out how the place looks like, whether it is conducive for Maja or not. And you too, need to investigate what type of strange power those people possess. We shall surely crush that power. Bye. I will do that, Olori Aibé. I promise. I will do that. That the Lord wants you to work in that village. Um, Pastor, since the day we came here and told you that we have known that the Lord is calling us to serve in the village, and we have been seriously praying that the Lord should direct our steps to that particular village he wants to use us. And immediately we entered into the village and saw their serious, terrible spiritual situation. We knew in our spirits that that is the place where the Lord needs us. What did you call the name of the village? Mumuoleru. The village is called Mumuoleru. 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 Have you known the name of the village? This pastor. 
Eh? You know the name of the village? Ah, that's good. Then tell me the name. Ah, that's good news. Mualero. Mualero. I had the name in my dream this morning. But I don't think there is a village called Mualero. Ah, uh ah, -huh. Kola. How can the Lord give you a uh, reveal the name of a village that does not exist to you? That village exists, Brother Kola. Brother Kola, you know the counsel of God cannot be changed. His purpose and surely stand. If you refuse to fulfill the counsel of God, God will raise up somebody else who will fulfill his counsel. But I want you to know this part. Instead of God to change his purpose or plan, he would rather change man. Pastor, the people of the village are in complete spiritual darkness. They are completely enslaved by the witches and demons, the familiar spirits. Does the village has a king or ruler or something? No, Pastor. Which has none. Yes. A dreadful old witch doctor is the one controlling the affairs of the village. Uh -huh. It is wherever he leads the villagers that they go. And to whatever he commands them that they do. He has aligned with the witches and the familiar spirit of the village to put the people in terrible bondage. The villagers are really suffering, Pastor. Just to Christian, Pastor, we heard that about 21 people died suddenly within two days. And a young man drowned in a, in a river and his body has never been found. A lot of terrible things are happening to them in that village. Pastor, the whole village is covered with great spiritual darkness. Exactly. They don't even know who Jesus Christ is. Hmm. The old witch doctor of the, in the village is their all in all. Ah. Ah. And when do you hope to start work in that village? Ah. We will soon leave, Pastor. When we live here now, we are going to start our preparation. Oh, very good. Mm. Uh, Braboy, have you got uh, a place to stay in in that village? I mean, have you got any accommodation yet? Uh, we have not yet got a house. But we believe when we get there, that we surely find a place to stay. Pastor, when we get there and the Lord has established us in the village, and could we invite you and the church to come and conduct a crusade for us in the village? Oh, sure. In fact, that's what's right on my mind. You see, anytime you feel that you have been established and then you feel that the door is open, invite us. We'll come and we'll have a powerful crusade in that place. Amen. And then we believe that many souls will be saved. So just call us and we'll be very happy. You know, to be a part of the move of God in that village. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, the Lord is good. Thank you, sir. We are leaving, sir. Oh, so soon? Yes, sir. Pray the Lord will be with you in a more level village. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey. This morning, sir. Oh, we're glad to hear you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I wish you all the best in uh, more level village. Yes, sir. Thank you will contact me whenever you need my help. Yes, sir. I'll be praying for you. Uh, thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. God does not waste time with his work at this end time. The same move on every village that Dora Kola refused to come. That same village is Dora Boye and the family going now. That statement is true. Instead of God to change his counsel of purpose, he would rather change now. And we don't know what is happening to Dora Kola right now. Hmm. Ah, ah, what's it? Mm -hmm. 
You're already working hard. Yes, of course. Let's go for lunch. Eh? Is time already? Yes. Ah, wonderful. Please. Let me quickly tidy up. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. You're welcome. more weight, you know. Every afternoon, you feed me with classy food. I'm getting bored with this chicken every day. Perhaps we need to introduce another meal for a change. Don't worry, dear. As from tomorrow, we change over to turkey. How about that? Well... And three days ago, I suddenly met 10,000 Naira in my handbag when I went to attend to visitors in the uh, manager's office. And as I was just wondering how the money got there, you said you are the one that put it there. But uh, this money, you know, it's getting too much. I don't even know how to spend it. And my husband is not even accepting it in my hand again. Eh? If your husband doesn't want to accept the money, then you put it in a bank. Mm. Oh, should I stop giving you money? Uh, no, <laughs> no. I did say that. Uh, no, don't stop giving me. But uh, perhaps if I know the bank you are using, I may open an account there and be putting my money there too. Bank? Yes, I don't put my money in the bank. All the money I need are in the palace where my people are. I have told you that uh, I don't depend on the salary I have in that company for my living. And I have already told you that I have more than enough to use, to spend and to give. 
as long as you are my friend. There is no amount of money you need that you will not get. Hmm. Then, what are we working for, Paulina? I will tell you the reason why we have to work when you get to my people in our palace. Eh? Paulina, where is this palace? And when are you going to take me there? It seems her people have not really known you yet. Well, I think so. Whenever you are ready, I will take you to them. Then you will know me and my people better. Do you want me to take you to them? Well, we are now friends, Paulina. No, no. But don't you trust me again? I do. I really want to know your people. When are you going to take me to the palace? All right. If you want to know my people. What about tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow afternoon. Well, what's that? Which drink do you want? As usual. No. Not again. You must try something else today. You must make sure you drink beer today. Why should I alone be taking beer? No, you have to try beer. Beer, Paulina. No, never. I can't drink beer, Paulina. Why? Why? Why should I alone be taking beer and you stop drink? And yet you are showing me that we, are, we have become close friends. I can't take beer, Paulina. No. We are very close friends now, but 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 I, I, I can't take beer. Why? I just want to know the reason why. Why? Make me to understand. You see, uh, uh, I, I, I'm a Christian. And so what? Paulina, Paulina, please, please, please don't go. Don't go. It's all right now. Please, don't go. Do you agree with me? Yes, I do. Give up two bottles of beer. Is there nothing for me to eat? 
I've looked around, sir. I looked in the fridge and there's nothing I can prepare at home. All the food stuff we have at home is blocked up in store. And you have not found the key of the store yet? I I've just remembered, sir. It must be in mommy's handbag. Perhaps she mistakenly dropped it in her bag when she was going to the office in the morning. Okay. The freezer. If you look in the freezer, maybe you can find something to warm for me to eat. There's only the leftover of the beans we had yesterday night. Apart from the breakfast I took in the morning before I left for office, I've not eaten anything since. I rushed home thinking that uh, something might have been prepared for me to eat. And this is half past eight. Did she tell you that she will bring somewhere? No, sir. Mommy didn't tell me anything. Can I go and warm the beans for you? Yes. Go and warm it for me. And you? What have you eaten? I've taken some garlic with sugar. Mama, what are all this happening in this house? Say, I can no longer understand a movement these days. nothing for me to eat and again you took along with you the key to the store when you are going in the morning no I did not take the key of the office to the store key of the store the, for the key is always the fatalist Alice! Alice!
you. You are useless. You are a useless thing. You saw me dropping the key. I'm sending you. I'm sacking you. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Hmm.